In this video, I'm going to teach you how I got this game for free. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and today I'm going to be sharing you a story about how I got this for free yesterday. Now, normally on this channel, I'm doing product reviews or showing you how to build a computer or showing you how to upgrade stuff. But in this video, I'm just going to share the story on how I got this for free, and it's something that you can do yourself also. And I know what you're thinking, there's got to be a gimmick. And I'm here to tell you, there's no gimmick involved. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of research, and quite honestly, sometimes a little bit of luck. So yesterday, I was just checking out Facebook Marketplace to see what was being sold around town, and I stumbled upon a listing for a Switch Lite with a bunch of games included. Now, I've got a nice Switch OLED, so I didn't need a Switch Lite, but when I saw the list of games, I noticed that the price he was asking was actually really quite good for the console and a bunch of games. Now, the console may not have been in the best shape, but the list of games was pretty impressive, including Mario Odyssey, a Sonic game, and there were some other ones that were just kind of bonus, but this is one that was on my list of games that I wanted to eventually get for the Switch, but I was just waiting for the right time. Now, this is still like a $60 game, even though you can get it on Xbox and PlayStation for much cheaper than that, and you can probably get it on Steam for much cheaper than that, but we know how Switch games go. They're going to be like that for a while. Maybe on sale you could probably get it for 40 bucks, but still, it was not something that I wanted to spend that much money on, but I figured if I ever found it for a good price, it'd be a great game to add to the collection. Nothing wrong with playing a little GTA on the go, and having it with the Switch would be pretty cool. So this was one of the included games, so I started doing some quick math in my head, like, what if I just trade in everything to GameStop and see what I can get? And we all know that GameStop's going to give you pretty much pennies on the dollar. But I went to their website, started plugging in some of the stuff to see what you could get. I know it's kind of a, a gamble when you bring a Switch or a, uh, a console because they're going to nitpick you on different things. And I'll be honest, the condition of this Switch Lite wasn't perfect by any means. But I started doing some quick math and started thinking, hey... I might be able to trade in all the stuff I don't want to keep and just keep this and maybe it will cost me 20 bucks. So I thought, you know, for 20 bucks it'd be worth it, trade in everything else, keep the Grand Theft Auto, and that'd still be much better than buying this thing on sale for 40 bucks. But what I didn't know is that GameStop had a promotion going on where they were giving an extra percentage on everything that you traded in. So I brought in the Switch Lite, I brought in a bunch of games uh, that I knew I wasn't ever going to play, I brought in some games that I already had, like the Mario Odyssey, and brought it into the dude, said, how much can I get for this? Now, the, the promotion was for trade credit only, but as it turned out, it was about $165 trade credit, and it was only going to be like $80 cash if I wanted the cash. So about $165 trade credit, and I only paid about $150 for the whole bundle. So long story short, I got to keep this. I got $165 in trade credit all for $150. Now I know that's not necessarily getting this for free, but I spent enough money at GameStop getting different things to review on this channel. So to be quite honest, that $165 trade credit is just about as good as cash to me. So really, not only did I get this for free, but I get another $15 for free on top of it, and that's an even more bonus. So next time you're scrolling through Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, and you see a console for sale, maybe check out to see what kind of games they're throwing in with it. Sometimes you can trade in the games and keep the console. But that's going to wrap it up for this little tip. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have you done something like this before? What's your best deal that you ever got? It'll be interesting to hear what kind of success you guys have gotten. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Also, I thank you as always for watching. And until next time, peace out and geek out.